Good morning besties for today's video. I'm going to be doing a Healthy day in my life. I see your guys comments about my workout routine what I eat in a day and I'm going to do this video as a trial and if it does well and you guys really like it Then I will definitely film a week of my workouts But I thought I would just show you guys a glimpse of what one of my days look like when I'm working out So it is actually Monday. It is 7 54 a.m. I woke up at 7 30 Usually takes me about half an hour to get up get dressed and I try to work out around 8 a.m Whether that's Rochelle coming over and working out in the basement. She had something this morning. So we we would have been doing that but I'm going on a run instead just to kind of break down what my workout workout week looks like for workouts obviously today got messed up because she has something but that's okay we try to do legs two days a week cardio two days a week and arms once a week so typically we've been doing legs Monday Friday cardio Tuesday Thursday arms Thursday but we're gonna do cardio today separately and then legs tomorrow in terms of cardio it's going on a run or doing a hit workout but today I am going on a run because it is beautiful out and it just makes me feel really nice my route that I typically do is around 5.3 kilometers I can normally do that in about half an hour and for me the hardest part is getting outside and like forcing myself to start but once I do and once I get back, I'm so happy that I did so let me know in the comments if you guys run Today is cardio and then we're coming back and doing abs So if you guys are gonna follow along with this fitness video, go get ready to go on a run. We're gonna go together <laughs> I just need to put my shoes on. I just have the Nike Hirachis. I don't think they're running shoes. They're trainers, but they do the job. I'll give you guys a little outfit of the day. So firstly, I'm just wearing this Nike hat. I have no idea where this is from. I've had it for years. I usually always wear a hat when I run outside just to keep the sun out of my face. My hair in a ponytail. I have this white crop t-shirt from Garage. And then I have on my Lululemon high neck bra. And then I have on my Lululemon, I don't know what the name of these are. I'll have the exact pair linked down below but they have pockets. These are my dedicated running leggings so that I can put my phone in my pocket. And then I just have on some Nike socks. Also, when I start my run, I walk for five minutes just to warm up. This specific route I take, there's like a straight walk. And then as soon as the road ends and you have to turn, it's five minutes, so it just works out perfectly. Also, I always, always, always listen to a podcast when I run because it just really motivates me and gets my brain working for the day. I usually listen to the Skinny Confidential because it's really educational and just makes me feel good. I just take my phone case off because it's annoying when I run. Tim Grover on how to win life with the right mindset and how to keep on winning over and over again. Sounds good to me. Let's go. It is 8.40, I just got back. I went upstairs and took off my shoes and got my water and my laptop because we're gonna do abs. I think that was my best run yet. I kept a really good pace the whole time. So let's look at my run. So it's 5.23 kilometers and I did it in 31 minutes, 32 seconds. The last run that I did on Thursday, I did it in 32 minutes, 54 seconds. So I beat my pace by a whole minute. That's the thing I like about running is it's so rewarding and it never gets easy because you can always go faster. But like I said, we're gonna do abs, but I'm gonna stretch first because running, especially like outside on pavement is really hard on all of your joints and everything and your muscles. We're gonna stretch it out and 
continue listening to that podcast. It was actually really good. I'll have it linked down below. It was very motivating. Don't forget to stretch because it heals your muscles faster and it just feels so good, especially after a run. I poked myself in the eye, so I don't know what's going on. It stings, but I'm going to find an ab workout to do. I'll have some of my favorites linked down below, but I really like the Chloe Ting ab workout and Sammy Clark has a few good ones. Same with Mad Fit, but I think I'm going to do the Sammy Clark one. I think it's this one here. The 10 minute ab workout, no equipment. I'll have it linked down below. Like I was previously saying, um, I do cardio twice a week and then I always do abs after cardio. So really I only do abs twice a week, um, just at the end of my workout. Let's get to it. and I still do them sometime but I just find it's a lot more convenient and unnecessary that I make them up because there's so many resources on YouTube that have a bunch of workouts and circuits that I <laughs> would never think of so don't stress about that and honestly following videos is your best friend and can never do you wrong and that's a wrap for the workout oh my god I feel fucking incredible guys honestly to me there is nothing like waking up and getting your workout over with but i was actually listening to that podcast the guy's name is tim grover and he was or is i don't know if he's retired he was a fitness coach and mentor for a bunch of professional athletes such as kobe bryant michael jordan i believe wayne gretzky too like a bunch of top athletes so he's very educated in the fitness realm one thing that really stuck with me that i wanted to tell you guys people react differently to when you work out so for example not everyone can work out in the morning some people's genetics just allow them to work better in the afternoon or at night so honestly guys don't stress that i work out as soon as i wake up because if you work out in the afternoon and get it done that's just as motivating as me doing it right when i wake up people just react to schedules differently and also they were t they touched on the stigma around like being up before the sun being productive getting your workout in at 5 a.m like yeah that works for some people but it doesn't for a lot of others so guys what i'm trying to get at here is do what works for you and don't be influenced by what other people do i'm about to take my little freshy shot these are the gut gold elixir it has apple juice pineapple juice apple cider vinegar ginger juice ground cinnamon cayenne powder i like to have these on the days that i do cardio as the first thing that i eat or drink besides water i don't know if these are that good for you it says 30 calories per bottle seven grams of sugar so it kind of has a lot of sugar in it and i should probably opt for just like an apple cider vinegar shot but i just want to get rid of these cheers they just make i don't even know if they do anything they just make me feel so good after Woo! It's 9.07. I honestly try to fast until 11. I try not to eat until that time just because I find I don't get that hungry and by the time I shower and I get my morning routine done, it's usually around 10 and then I can just wait until 11. So I will come back to you guys when I am making some breakfast.
and I don't smell. <laughs> After I showered, I went and got Starbucks with Jay. I don't do this every day, probably once or twice a week, but this would normally be the time when I have my coffee. It is 11.10 right now. I just got back from getting coffee with Jay. I just got my grande shaken espresso with oat milk i don't normally get starbucks every day but i do have a coffee right after i work out so that's kind of the first thing that i put in my body it may not be the best for you but it is after 11 and like i said i try to fast until 11. the keyword here is try it definitely doesn't happen every day but i do try to strive for that if i'm hungry before 11 i let myself eat I'm not super strict about it, so it's just all in moderation. And I usually try to stop eating around 8, but again, it doesn't happen every day. So this is called intermittent fasting, and just look up what it is and see if it's best for you. I'm not telling you guys to do it. I'm just telling you what I do. So we're going to make breakfast. I've shown this breakfast in a previous vlog, but I kid you not, guys, I have it every single morning. I have oatmeal for breakfast. And then I have some sort of egg meal around two or three. I'm sorry, I keep popping in, but I do need to add some notes in here while I'm editing. So I did say I have this every single day, but again, that just varies on the day. I do try to have oatmeal and avocado toast every day, but sometimes it changes. For example, this morning I had yogurt with fruit and granola instead of oatmeal and then yesterday for lunch i had shrimp tacos it changes every day but this is just a specific day in my life and the meals that i have most often if that makes sense whether it's avocado toast or eggs whatever depending on if we have avocados i usually always try to do avocado though but as long as there's eggs in it so i can get some protein my friend showed me this oatmeal recipe it's amazing i'm addicted to it and i can't live without it so i want to share it with you guys it's a really high calorie meal which is awesome so it's going to keep you full for a really long time and it's just the perfect thing to have after a workout i just used the quaker oats one minute oats it's just the one that my mom buys there's a bunch of different kinds of oatmeal but this one works for me so i do a third cup of oatmeal and then i'm adding some seeds in so i just have these whole black chia seeds and whole flax seeds you can also substitute the flax seed for hemp hearts um but this is just what i have at my house so I do a tablespoon of each the seeds will help you stay full next up we're doing some banana i just like to cut it in half i always cut off the ends <laughs> and give it to my sweet baby hi Come here. so i cut it in half and then i mash one half of it just kind of on the banana peel you guys can see I like doing this just because it adds a different texture of banana and kind of reminds me of banana bread. <laughs> so I really like it. And then I just slice the other half and then I put it in after. You guys will see. We have the flavor. These are my favorite ingredients and I never thought jam and oatmeal would work. But it is so delicious guys and you need to try it. It just adds so much flavor and natural sweetness so i just do a tablespoon of each i don't buy specific brands it's just whatever i have in my house so we just buy schmuckers pure strawberry jam and then we get the nature's nuts smooth natural almond butter you can also substitute this for natural peanut butter it just depends on what you like i just do a generous tablespoon because it's so delicious <laughs> i also add in nuts these will bump up the calories and help you stay full so i just have these royal nuts unsweetened almonds just take a handful and dump it in I'm not too strict about that we're going in with some almond milk i just have this unsweetened vanilla silk almond milk shake it up a bit and i do two of the third cups and then lastly we're adding in that banana again there's a bunch of different oatmeal recipes but this is my favorite look how 
good that looks. You can also substitute different nuts, different fruit. You can add in coconut flakes. There's so much variety for oatmeal, that's why I love it. So, I just put it in for a minute and a half. I wish you guys could smell how amazing this is. It's the jam that makes it smell so good. I like to just mix everything up because of the jam and butter just to really blend everything. It's just so good because the almond butter melts in the microwave and it's just so magical guys you need to try this you also don't have to put the nuts in but i am pretty busy throughout the morning and early afternoon so i just like to get in a lot of calories so that i'm full for a really long time all right it's super hot right now so i usually just let that sit and i'm gonna take my morning vitamins this is just what i take because we have them at my house and my mom told me to take them so I take the Jameson Chewable Vitamin C and I take four of them. They're so good. They also have, see how much of a clutch I am? Like that didn't need to happen. And then I take Omega-3, two of those. Probiotic, this is for your gut health. Vitamin D, three, one of those. And I just literally shoot them all back in one mouthful. Comment down below if you guys can take pills <laughs> i just can do it so well and then lastly we're taking some multivitamins we bounce back and forth between these and the centrium i think that's what it's called adult gummies honestly just whatever the store has and you take two of these i just can't get over it looks so good guys try this out and let me know if you like it a lot of people hate oatmeal which i can't even believe i've just always loved it ever since i was young i literally get so excited to eat this every day because it's so delicious and it's good for you mm. guys the cooked banana in it is incredible if you have not tried cooking banana with your oatmeal you are missing out a lot of people find that gross because it's hot fruit but trust me it tastes like banana bread <laughs> i'm gonna sit here and eat this it's 11 27 right now and this will usually hold me off until like two or three so i will talk to you guys when i'm having something else to eat just kidding guys i'm back wait i need a different lemon it's time for my lemon water i can't believe i almost forgot that but i have lemon water literally every morning i've been so on top of it it has so many good benefits for you i just cut off the ends that piece isn't even that good and i like to do two slices is probably good and then i get where is it i usually have a huge mason jar oh wait there's one over there my regular mason jar is in the dishwasher so i'm just using this green one but it's honestly kind of a vibe so i'm gonna put eight ice cubes i don't know why but i always put eight obviously we got the silicone straw why is that obvious this green mug is such a vibe and i'm actually going to use it every time now <laughs> look how nice it looks with the lemon i go through these pretty fast because i'm really on top of my water intake so i'll probably have like four or five of those six a day i've been really trying to switch from that water bottle because it's just been boring me lemon water has been a nice change mm, i probably could have done another slice of lemon Oh well. Besties, where has the day gone? It's 3.47. I just finished filming. See what I mean about how I fall into a deep hole of work where I just don't think to eat? So I think I ate around 11. So it's been almost four hours later or over four hours. So if you guys are looking to stay full for a long time, I got you, but I do need to eat something before dinner because I'm hungry and I usually don't eat until six. I'm praying that some avocados are ripe. Nope, she will work. She's squishy. I guess the moment of truth is when we cut it open. Guys, it's a struggle in this household to get a ripe avocado. Oh yeah, she's perfect. <laughs> okay, so 
Like I said, I have oatmeal for my first meal every day and then I try to have avocado toast as my second meal. Some days it doesn't always work out like that because not a few avocados are ripe, but today is a good day. I use half of an avocado, that way they last longer. So just put the other half in the fridge and I will use it tomorrow. I'm making pesto eggs. Maybe you guys have seen this on TikTok, maybe you haven't, but it is the best thing to ever have come to earth. It is so good. Please just try it, okay? It sounds disgusting, but it's fucking amazing. I made it for both my mom and dad and they love it. So I need to go get eggs. From the basement, I'll be back. Okay, I got my water from upstairs. I'm on my second glass of the day. Yes, I'm being annoying and I'm taking a photo of my avocado. Guys, I always have to pee when I start filming. I don't know where to start, I'm flustered. For the toast, I usually bounce back and forth between the two options we have at my household. So firstly, we have the Villaggio artisan styled white bread. It's so good. I like that one. When I have avocado toast on the weekends, I treat myself to that one because it's a lot thicker and it's more of a fancy meal, but I'm just using the Dempster's Ancient Grains with Quinoa Toast. This is my favorite one. It's so good. It's pretty thin. It's as healthy as toast can be. I usually just set that in the toaster until I'm ready. You guys are getting a full walkthrough of how my avocado toast making goes. I have this little pan. What is this? I don't know, the rock, does it matter? And then for the pesto, I just have this Classico basil pesto. This is what it looks like if you want to get the exact one. I do like a spoonful, pretty hefty amount because it's my weakness. This acts as an oil. So you don't have to oil or butter the pan and it also flavors the eggs. It's so good guys. I just blobbed it, <laughs> blobbed it. I just put a blob in the middle. So I like to kind of spread this around. So it soaks up the whole pan, you know? I've definitely made this in a vlog before. So you guys may be annoyed of seeing me cooking this, but I'm just being real. This is what I eat. If I don't do the pesto eggs, I just do a regular egg. Um, and then I add lemon in when I cook my egg instead of, instead of the pesto. In the meantime, I like to just prep everything. So I just slice my avocado. Whoa. Get her ready. Once the pesto starts to bubble like that, time to add in the egg. I try to drop it like right in the middle of all the pesto. Crack the yolk. I have to act fast, I do. Pepper, I do seasoning, salt, chili flakes. Put a generous amount because I like my stuff hot. Oh shit, that might be too much. As I say generous amount, I put too much, but it is what it is, guys. Now I'm going to pop the toast down. I wish you guys could smell how amazing this is because you get like the basil mm, from the pesto. It's so good. It smells like you're in a pizza shop. I don't like how it pops everywhere. It pisses me off. While the eggs are cooking, this is when I do the toast. What really makes this is the ricotta cheese spread. I just have the tree stell extra smooth ricotta soft with cheese. So you add this on the toast and it's such a game changer, guys. This is probably where it becomes unhealthy <laughs> because it's cheese, but I really don't care. Now time to add the avocado. This avocado could have been a lot riper, but we're working with what we got here. <laughs> yup, there she is. To finish it off, I drizzle honey on it. Again, I know it sounds disgusting, but please don't knock it until you try it. It's so good. I have a bad habit of falling in love with something and eating it every single day. So as of right now, this is the avocado toast that I make, but let's go upstairs and eat. Mmm, tell me that doesn't make your mouth water. If only you guys could smell it, you would be drooling right now. I always eat my avocado toast with a fork and knife just because it holds everything together. It's just easier, you know? Mmm! Please try it, guys. And I'll talk to you guys 
when it's dinner time. I'm very lucky that I don't have to worry about making my dinners. Fortunately, my parents make it or I eat at my boyfriend's house. And for the most part, it's really healthy. So I don't have to worry about that. So I was at my boyfriend's house for dinner. We had this flourless breaded chicken. It just has a bunch of spices on it. It was so amazing with some cucumber salad and then i didn't picture it because they were still cooking but i also had a few sweet potato fries i'm also a pretty big snacker whether that is in between my meals or after my dinner and today i ended up getting a bubble tea this is just a mango fruit tea it was so incredible just being realistic here everything in moderation i forgot to film an outro so i'm just gonna end the video here thank you guys so much for watching and like i said this is just a specific day in my life of what I'm eating it really changes every single day and for the most part I try to eat pretty clean throughout the week but sometimes I do end up snacking or having a treat example bubble tea I'm not too strict or hard on myself about it everything in moderation but I do try to strive for healthy during the week and then I eat pretty much whatever I want on the weekends to treat myself. Obviously, it's really hard to depict exactly what I eat because it changes every day, but I hope this video was helpful and let me know if you guys want more fitness and health-related videos because I can definitely do more, but I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next day.